In this video, we'll be discussing how to design an OR gate. Now, there's two steps on how to design an OR gate out of CMOS. So first, what we need to do is we need to draw an OR gate And then the second step is to connect an inverter to that NOR gate. Now you may be wondering why we have to make an inverter. Well, if we have an inverter, if we find the inverse of a NOR gate, that will be our OR gate. So that is one method in how to design a OR gate out of a, uh, using CMOS. So let's do that, shall we? So let's draw, get a new blank piece of paper and then let's draw our pull up and pull down network. So for our NOR gate, our pull-up network will look like this. So this is how, this is what an equation of an OR gate is. So pull-up network, NOR gate. This is what a NOR gate is. And if we convert that to our pull-up network, that would be, it will look like this. And for a pull-down network, it will be like this, just A plus B. So let's draw that, shall we? In our, and just so you know, to recap, uh, we're doing step one first. So step one cases, pull-up network is this equation and pull-down network is this. So first let's draw our pull-up network. Here we have uh, our high in VDD. Right here it's an AND. So let's draw the formation of that. And what we also know is that both of them have a separate inverse. So we draw this circle here. Let's write down our inputs A and B. So we got that now and our outputs right here. And for our OR gate, we'll look like this. Where our inputs So, as I've discussed uh, again, our inputs would be just A and B. There's no inverse for that. So now that we've got our NOR gate, let's apply, let's put in the inverter. So our inverter, it's simple. It's simply this.
And there we go. This is our OR gate um, built out of CMOS. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later.